gentlemen, we are pleased to have you with us this fourth day of May in the year of our Lord, 2013, to participate in the 77th commencement exercises of Dodge City Community College. At this time, we ask that you please silence your cell phones for the remainder of the program. Will the audience please rise for the procession?
and Jody Frisbee Reese, Assistant Professor of Vocal Music, will direct the DCC Wind Ensemble and Concert Choir in the performance of the National Anthem. Today, 
for your conviction, to help them realize that you do have blessings available for them. You do have joy more than they have experienced before by living for you. You do have peace that can be in their hearts because of having you in their lives. And you have the possibility of forgiveness to remove them. Any guilt that any of us humans may have to live with for any reason because of your forgiveness and the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross many years ago. So today, Lord, we do indeed thank you for being here. And we know that it is altogether fitting and proper that you be here and offer your blessings upon this solemn occasion. In your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. My pleasure to greet you in the, uh, to this uh, commencement time. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, President Woodburn, Vice Presidents and Deans of the College, and the faculty and staff, I'm pleased to welcome you to the 77th commencement of Dodge City Community College. The Governing Board of Dodge City Community College is its Board of Trustees, who are elected by the people of Ford County, Kansas. My fellow trustees have worked long and hard on behalf of the college. At this time, I will ask the trustees who are present to stand as I introduce each one. When I finish, please join me in an expression of our appreciation for their service and stewardship of this college. First off, Don Webb, Florist Jean Hampton, Dr. Morris Reeves, and Shane Banger.
2013 Dodd City Community College Distinguished Alumnus. This year, the college honors Nola Osh of Jetmore. She started taking classes at Dodd City Community College when she was 66 years old to do something off the farm. And they had a farm in Jetmore. She walked across this stage just like you will today in May of 1988. But she didn't stop there. She went right on to Fort Hayes State University and graduated with a bachelor's degree in history in 2007 and then a master's degree in 2010. This made Nola the Guinness Book of World Records oldest person ever graduated from college in the United States. Uh, please welcome, help me in honor, Noah Holton. Don't be complacent. 
when I made the decision to run for the Kansas legislature, just a few years ago when I was 22, I had many people tell me I was crazy. They would ruin me politically. I said then, but I still say now, I'm not interested in doing what's political. I'm interested in doing what's right. I was trying to work towards a big goal, just like all of you are. I focused on controlling what I could control, not worrying about the rest. And that's my challenge to you today. Always do what's right. Set goals, work hard, control what you can, and don't worry about the rest. And in life, I feel like there's two things that you can always control. There's a lot of things you can't control. The two you always can control are your attitude and your effort. Keeping your head up when times get tough and always working hard are two things that will serve everyone well. I think about a friend of mine I met in Washington while I was playing basketball. I grew up in a, in a tough background, I overcame a lot of adversity, had the chance to play football at Washburn and uh, worked hard during his time there. Got hurt his senior year, it was his best year, he got injured. And a lot of people around him say, you're done, you give up, it's time to move on. Uh, he said, no, he's gonna keep working, he worked hard, uh, a lot of rehab, put himself in a position to get a medical register. Came back his senior year, had a good season. Wasn't drafted, wasn't signed by any teams, he could play in the NFL. He got a chance to play for a minor league team. Uh, last year, he ended up getting picked up and uh, was able to join the San Francisco 49ers practice team. A few months after that, which was really just a few months ago, uh, he was able to join the actual active roster. And just uh, a week before the Super Bowl, was announced to be the captain, the Super Bowl team captain. Just, he's a Kansas, just like all of you, he's a hard worker. Puts others before himself and always had a good attitude. And the encouraging part there, his name's Michael Wilboy, uh, is that when he's done with football, he'll have that same success because he also works hard in the classroom, uh, worked hard at the jobs that he worked at to help pay his way through college. And I think that's, that's very encouraging. He's a great example of that. But that's not easy having a good attitude and you know, always working hard when the times get tough because he has to get your head down. But neither is stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something new, uh, like taking the next step, or that be moving from junior high to high school high school to work, uh, you all are now, and today you're another one of those points, whether it be going to another college or starting your careers, you're heading towards. Uh, in life, we're not meant to be comfortable. For me, I knew serving at the center was not going to get me out of my comfort zone from the very first day in office. A few hours after I was sworn in, I had someone who worked at the Capitol come up to me and uh, say, young man, who are you interning for? And that, that was a reminder that my time as a senator would probably be different than most. It emphasized to me the importance of listening and learning. I wanted to focus on gaining the trust and respect of my peers. And in whatever career you all go into, uh, that will be important for you as well, uh, whether it be politics or business or education, uh, whatever that may be. Uh, because you cannot be effective, you can't work well with those that are that surrounded you. I also knew that some of my colleagues maybe thought that I thought I knew everything or I thought I was going to go in and change everything. And I want to make that very clear that wasn't the case. Because there's people that know more than I do about every single issue out there. Uh, Fortunately, many of them are faculty members who I have played a big part in helping you get off to where you all are today. And that's a humbling thought, but it's a very important one because it means there's always more that you can learn. And that happens wherever you are. Uh, but with that, I'd like to share with you a poem that I found very fitting this occasion. I lend it else. It's entitled The Dash. Hopefully you'll see what I mean. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of her birth and spoke of the following date with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. So that dash represents all the time that she spent alive on earth. And now only those who loved her know what that little line was worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live in love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left, it could be a dash mid range. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real, and always try to understand the way other people feel, and be less quick to anger, and show appreciation more, and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. We treat each other with respect will often wear a smile, remembering that little special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read, with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash? And for most of us, when it's all said and done, we lay to rest in the heart of this earth. Above us will be a sign to mark the spot where our body lies. The tombstone will have very basic information, our date of birth, our date of death, 
our name. Can we also be an inspirational poet in the Bible verse? We're in fact impactful symbol for hope. What is most significant on that tombstone is what is most easily overlooked. The dash found between the day of birth and the day of death. There's a height measuring a little more than an inch in the brain. But the real measure, though, of that small dash in the tombstone is in what measures the character of our lives, the decisions we face, the relationships we pursue, the sacrifices we make, the joys we share, the gifts we give, the kindness we extend, the troubles we suffer, the talents we employ, and the legacy we leave behind. Life is much more than simply lying just in the stone. My question for you today is, what do you want your dash to say? Also, the quote by Edmund Burke. So all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men and women to do nothing. I want you to hang on that as well. But another year has gone by, another subset of your life is now in the past, and there is literally a whole world of opportunities still before you. So make the most of them. Have no regrets. Many of those opportunities only come once, and always remember that every day is a blessing. Keep that in mind, and congratulations on a great accomplishment. Thank you. that we want to recognize today is Gordon Giroux, President of Universal Helicopters Incorporated. Gordon has been a partner to Dodge City Community College in helicopter flight training for more than five years. He's one of the most remarkable men that I have ever met. Gordon is an intuitive educator, an outstanding leader, and a benevolent employer who experiences very little turnover. Gordon has a global reputation for training competent and safe pilots. This is evidenced by the fact that 100% of our graduates are employed in the industry. Gordon's philosophy is that it is more important to place our graduates in industry jobs than it is to recruit the next class of students. Now, in partnership with Dodge City Community College, Gordon leads one of the largest helicopter flight schools in the world, with more than 30 aircraft. He recently literally rocked the industry by adding a turbine transition course and a night vision goggles course to the flight curriculum. Today, we are announcing the establishment of the Universal Helicopters Technical Scholarship Program to Dodge City Community College. The college has 22 technical programs, and Gordon is going to provide an annual award of $22,000. That is one $1,000 scholarship for each of our technical programs. There are so many other accomplishments that I could relate to you today about Gordon Giroux. You can read about many of them in his biography that appears in the commencement program. At this time, I want to ask President Woodward to come forward and present Gordon with this certificate. Dodge City Community College, <clears throat> excuse me, is awarding Gordon A. Giroux an honorary doctorate of aviation science in recognition of his outstanding contributions to Dodge City Community College and to the global aviation industry. Please join me in congratulating Gordon.
the candidates for degrees and certificates please rise. Trustee Conan, upon certification of the faculty of the college, I present the candidates for the degrees Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, or Associate of Applied Science, Associate of General Studies, and Related Certificates. Upon the recommendation of Executive Vice President Mike Layer, and by the authority of the Board of Trustees of Dodge City Community College, I confer upon each of you the degree or certificate for which you have been presented, admit, and admit you to all the rights and privileges thereof. Associate of General Studies, I honor.
Kehlani Joanne Sandoval, Associate of Applied Science, Honors. Elizabeth Schaus, Associate of Applied Science, Honors. Rachel Lanise Smith, Associate of Arts, Honors. Theo E. Stone, Associate of Applied Science, Honors. Cameron Scott Tuxhorn, Associate of Arts, Honors. Laura Varela, Associate of Arts, Honors. Jonathan Velasquez, Associate of Arts, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Todd Landon White, Associate of Applied Science, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Juanita Alvarez, Associate of Science and Associate of General Studies. Erica Alarcon, Associate of Applied Science. Kayla M. Anderson, Associate of Applied Science. Alondra Isela Benuelos, Cosmetology Certificate. <laughs> Katrina Renee Barnes, Associate of General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Cesar Galdino Batista Cruz. Electrical and Power Transmission Installation Installer Certificate. <laughs> Benjamin S. Becker, Associate of Applied Science. <laughs> Chantel Milena Yvonne Birbaum, Associate of Arts. Caitlin Shay Blackburn, Associate of Arts. Matthew James Brackey, Associate of Applied Science. Jessica A. Brower, Associate of Applied Science. Shane Matthew Britton, Associate of Applied Science. Kendra Diane Brooks, Associate of Applied Science. Michelle L. Muller, Associate of Applied Science. <laughs> April M. Burkhart, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Brittany Ryan Butts, Cosmetology Certificate. <laughs> Amanda Jane Carney, Associate of General Studies. Garrett A. Carroll, Welding Certificate. <laughs> Araceli Diaz Figueroa, <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Megan Lauren Eddy, Associate of Applied Science. Melanie Jo Enderrood, Early Childhood 
an education certificate, Phi Theta Kappa. Kimiko Escobel, Associate of General Studies. Eric Figueroa, Electrical Transmission System Technician Certificate. Craig A. Foster, Associate of Arts. Kevin Garcia, Associate of Science, Phi Theta Kappa. Leslie Gomez, Associate of Arts. Marcus Christopher Hardison, Associate of General Studies. Martley H. Harp, Associate of Applied Science. Hugo Hernandez, Associate of Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Wendy B. Hernandez, Associate of Applied Science. Jim Nelson Hernandez Castro, Associate of General Studies. Alexander Bryce Hickman, Associate of Applied Science. Eddie L. Holland, Jr., Associate of Arts. <laughs> Cindy Nicole Rachek, Early Childhood Education Certificate. Associate of Applied Science. <laughs> Andrew Heelsman, Associate of Applied Science. <laughs> Kelly Lynn Wynn, Associate of Science. <laughs> Megan Sean Kaufman, Cosmetology Certificate. Debbie Kaysonpeth, Associate of Applied Science. Anna Klecker, Associate of Arts. Zach Kreitzer, Welding Certificate. Amy Twee Lee, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Ashley D. Lozart, Cosmetology Certificate. <laughs> Jose Manuel Lopez Castro, Associate of Applied Science. Miriam Macedo, Associate of Science. Sandra Macias, Associate of Applied Science, Phi Theta Kappa. Maria Flora Mesas, Associate of Applied Science. Gabriela Martinez, Early Childhood Education Certificate. Larry Martinez, Associate of General Studies.
Eva Marquez, Associate of Arts. Christy D. Meyer, Associate of Applied Science. Yeni Mendez, Associate of Science. Fabiola Mesa, Cosmetology. Robert Montez, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Moises Navarro, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Kelly B. Oldfather, Associate of Arts. Brandon Olive, Fire Science Protection Technology Certificate. <laughs> Donelda M. Parker, Associate of Applied Science. <laughs> McClovia M. Pena, Associate of Applied Science. Karina Perez, Associate of Science. <laughs> Ashley Renee Peters, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Gustavo APA Rosante. Amari Kenyatta Price, Jr., Associate of Arts. <laughs> Blue Lake Pritchett, Associate of Arts. Daniel Ramirez, Associate of Applied Science. Eduardo Ramirez, Welding Certificate. Yvonne Ramirez, Associate of General Science. Gabriel Britana, Welding Certificate. <laughs> J. Franklin Raychek, Associate of Applied Science. <laughs> Fernando Rivas, Welding Certificate. Rodriguez, Associate of Arts and Associate of General Studies. Jose Manuel Rodriguez, Associate of Arts. Vanessa Rodriguez, Associate of General Studies. D.D. Sanchez, Cosmetology Certificate. <laughs> Julieta Sandoval, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Yamira Rosas, Associate of Arts. Noi, Seraphone, Associate of Arts, and Associate of Science. Rosanna Solis, Associate of Arts.
Associate of Science. Alberto Soto, Associate of Applied Science. Patricia A. Saitler, Associate of Arts, Phi Theta Kappa. Alexander Jean Steinmetz, Cosmetology Certificate. Miranda Nicole Fing, Associate of General Studies. Dylan K. T. D. Criminal Justice Police Science Certificate. <laughs> Cody James Traber, Welding Certificate. <laughs> Ethan John Benaman, Associate of Applied Science. Karina Venegas, Associate of Applied Science. Douglas L. View, Associate of Applied Science. Dylan Vogel, Welding Certificate. Miles Anton Weimer, Associate of Applied Science. Yeah.